it off the edge of your screen. And we'll say for this one that we want a blur of about one, and we'll leave that as it is. And then we'll duplicate this uh, layer, but now set it to screen. And we'll put the blurriness up to 10. Duplicate that, put it up to 20. Now come down into transform and um, come down a little bit. Change the opacity to 75%. And we're going to put uh, duplicate this guy and put his blurriness up to 40. Come down again, change the opacity to 50%. Duplicate this guy, change his bonus to 80. Come down and change the opacity to 25. And finally, I'm going to duplicate this guy and put him up to 160. Come down and change the opacity to, yes, 12.5. So, um, as you might guess, these aren't exact numbers. You don't want to use these same numbers for every single clip you've ever made. Uh, it's shot dependent. Uh, how close the saber is to you and the camera, how far away it is, all depends on how big you want the core to be, how blurry, the opacity, and so on. Basically, you'll want to come up with your own system of ratios and eyeball the shot and really find out what you think looks good. Okay. So now you've pretty much got a full saber. You could add a color balance on top of here on an adjustment layer and you'd pretty much be done. But as I said, I was going to show you a little bit of my method and how things work. So to carry on, let's go and pre-comp our cores layer. And we'll call this uh, colors. And what we'll do is duplicate this, set the top one to screen and the bottom one to add. And we get kind of a more bulbous outwards uh, kind of a, a more alive kind of a saber effect that is uh, key to the RVB kind of look. That if, you, if you've watched it, you'll notice that the sabers are very electric. They're not too flat. And uh, this is kind of what I'm going for. You don't need to do this. And it's the add layer that's responsible for this. And what we're going to do is uh, put the opacity for this on both down to 80. You might want to drop the add layer down even more to negate, like I said, that kind of bulbous effect. It's really up to your own taste, and you'll probably actually want to keyframe it throughout your footage to get it right at certain moments. Okay, so what we want to do is on our top screen layer, hit in color balance, we want minus 15 on the Let's bring so shadow reds on the green on about 20 on the highlight blue on about 100 preserve the luminosity on the add layer we want to do the same and we want about 50 in the shadow blue about 10 in the midtone green 100 in the midtone blue minus 15 in the highlight red and about 60 in the highlight blue and preserve luminosity. At this point it's a good idea to go to your project settings if you're not already and work in 32 bit space. So next come into your project settings, create a new comp from your footage again, bring in your colors. Let's snap that on and screen that over and uh, flick back into your cores layer, turn off this top layer that we said was going to act as our reference layer, come back and let's just uh, let's name this as final and we want to add a final color balance to uh, this colors layer in our final comp which looks as so Shadow blue is about five, midtone green, and I like oh, that's not right, and that's so. Uh, 
then let's come out to the frame we were working on. I think was as so. Uh, oh, almost. Just control and the right uh, arrow key or page up, page down to move along. And uh, there you go, you've got that kind of uh, nice saber looking effect. If you wanted to have uh, both calls on there, then we could come back over into our footage window and make a little room. Let's add in a second call. Set up the Bezier curves. And remember to keyframe this as well. And this will um, add it into the the blue that we were just making. Uh, and I'll just go and uh, show you a little example first before I go on to doing other colors of a subtraction masking. That is to say that, say the saber goes behind an object, I get this question quite a lot. How would you take that object out of the way so that, you know, the saber is in there? So, say that there's an object here, I want the saber to be behind. We'll just make a little mask on our footage here. Come down, set it to subtract. And in honor, you can see that it's been taken out by here of the footage. So, that's simply how you'd manage to do that. Take that back out. As for doing different colors, uh, well... It's a good idea to just mask your two, uh, well, say, well, we'll assume it's two sabers on the same comp here for now. And then uh, what we could do then is take the opacity down of uh, one of the masks so that it doesn't get rendered out from that comp and come back and duplicate our cores, come in here. Uh, reverse what we just did okay and then make a new comp from that and repeat uh, our process of colors so set the top one to screen and bottom to add Bring down the opacity. Add in some color. I don't know, let's see, um, like 15 and some serious green. Um, see how that looks. Come back into our final comp, get colors to snap that on, screen that over, and there you go. You've got your uh, other color all set up and tidy. So you've got a pretty intense blue and green there, and that's how you come up with the general effect. Like I said, it's worth, um, worth playing a little bit with uh, the various... Um, you know, opacities on these just to come up and get different kinds of effects, you know, and uh, this kind of method works best on lighter backgrounds, it's worth mentioning. Harder to get to look good over on uh, darker backgrounds, but it still works and I've still come with some stuff. But anyway, this is uh, the kind of the RVB replication. I hope you guys like this method. Pretty versatile, allows you to get away with pretty good things. The footage window is awesome uh, because of what it allows you to do. Very time saving just to be able to uh, marquee select these things and drag about, which you could not do in a composition window the same. And so that's pretty much it. Any questions, just send them in. I hope this is good. Hope you guys like it. Have fun. See you later.